Welcome back to my channel for another just a review and another Hefe Bison. This one is from Svifaltor Plåstor Brauerei and it comes in this uh, NRW bottle as you can see called NRW bottle this bottle shape which is quite popular in whole uh, Germany this bottle shape used by many breweries uh, and this brewery is called Svifaltor Plåstor Brauerei as you mentioned and finally it's time for the Bison once again the normal Hefe Bison Naturtrub Hefetrub uh, brewer from the 1521, so I guess we can call it quite old. Uh, big thanks to my two friends Klaus and Jörn who did send it to me so I could review it here on the channel. That's very very appreciated. So big thanks to them for doing that. And Weizen, Hefe Weizen, very popular in southern Germany by the Württemberg and Bavaria of course, Oberbayern, uh, maybe basically, and Schwaben of course. So. It's a beer style that is one of my favorite beer styles, of course, at the moment. I like it really much, so it's going to be really nice to try it. Also, the label is one of the most beautiful labels that I've seen. So you felt the close to the advice and you can see beautiful look of the monastery and people enjoying and beautiful South German landscape. Top label, crown cap. And back label, I'm going to give you the information on the back label later on. Um, of course, but now... Don't waste any time, let's start with open up the bottle of this Sleefold of Cluster Boy with the crown cap right here. Of course I'm gonna show you how to pour up a vice beer. Uh, you need to have a vice beer glass. Uh, have to hold it in an angle like this and then you pour up the beer like this. You can start to build up a foam head. Seems like now it did create more foam than I hoped but it doesn't matter, uh, it's better to do that than the opposite. Uh, meanwhile, we can take a look at the label. If the original Sifalt or Kellerhefe, if we know in Weissen, we are the Handwerkliche Gebautwert, the eigene Sifalt or Kellerhefe wird from Raumaster Händisch in the Gerbautlich gegeben, now ausgebischer Lagerung wird auf jede Filtration versichtet und ich werde Naturtrüb abgefüllt. Alkoholkundet 5.2% volume, weich, fein, frustisch. So, das war was so weiß und als Gerson und als Hefe Hopfen. Gebrauch möchte im deutschen Neuansgebot. Sweefold der Klosterboy 88529 Sweefold and Sweefold the E. Let's see if we can pour up some more of it like that. This is how it should look like. We have still quite much beer left in the bottle. Uh, important thing on the weiss beer is, as I mentioned, you have a weiss beer glass. You hold it in an angle while you pour it up, you uh, build up this foam head, it uh, unleashes the right aromas from the ingredients of the beer and uh, you save like one finger of beer at the very bottom of the bottle it's because the yeast has been continuing to, to yeast in the bottle and the hefe. So um, it has been collected at the very bottom of the bottle. I'm later on going to show you how to uh, swirl the bottle to pick up the well tasting hefe and then you pour up the rest. And it's gonna uh, put itself like a big uh, foam head, and that's gonna make it look like a vice beer, and it's gonna taste like a vice beer also. That's the technique that you have to use if you're gonna uh, taste it in the correct way, because otherwise the tastes uh, won't appear in the correct way if you don't do it in, with, with that technique. So let's pour up some more of it, pour it up in stages. That's uh, that's what you do with the vice beer, as I mentioned. Meanwhile, uh, let's take another look at the, uh, at the label once again, because it's a really, really nice looking label. Here you see the logo of the brewery, Svifato Klosterbräu, and of course, started out as a monastery brewery, as the name suggests, Svifato Weizen Hefetrib. Um, and uh, that's something that I like, especially much with, um, with Germany, that they're still having this traditional monastery breweries, um, museum breweries, and the castle breweries is quite, uh, it's not that uncommon in Germany. They're still having those traditional breweries, which is something that I like real much because I'm a big fan of the, of the traditional parts of uh, everything basically. You can see how it looks like, looking real nice just the way. Uh, a vice beer should look like with big foam uh, looking fantastic in my opinion. Now we just have to pour up the rest 
uh, take his time to do that right now. Pick up the hefe like this with swirling it. You can also uh, roll the bottle on the table, but I used to do like this to pick up the hefe. Then you, you pour up the rest like this with a big white foam crown, as you can see. Huge, huge foam crown. Like that. The bigger foam than it is, and the better it is. Uh, like this, there we have a real uh, lightspeed, I would say. With its huge uh, foam crown. It's uh, like served in Bavaria, uh, of course, with a, a huge foam head like this. So let's get the aroma, which is, of course, fantastic. Uh, on the cloves, aroma is dominant as it should be on a high quality South German Weiss beer like this. So, the Hefeweizen from Siegfeld to Klosterbräu, let's give it a try. Post. It's really, really good. It's having a um, fantastic. Uh, Weiss beer taste, Hefeweizen taste, fantastic. And the refreshing part, the fruitiness, even though it's, of course, within the Lionel Skimmel, is fantastic. It really reminds me of the fact that Hefeweizen, uh, South German Hefeweizen from Bav Bavaria and Baden Württemberg, is probably my favorite beer at the moment. This fantastically fresh, amazing taste, high quality. Hope you're gonna visit the brewer's website and hope you're gonna be able to visit the brewery and try their beers because this one is amazing. I think that's it for now. Hope like and see you again in the next German Bear video.